Hey guys, welcome back to the Artistic Recovery. I'm Josh, your recovery advocate and host today. We're going to be talking about the benefits of plants in your recovery. Well, what are we talking about exactly? It's called green therapy or horticulture. So let's get started. Most people don't realize that plants actually can teach us about ourselves. So when you start to think about the action of planting a garden, it begins with a seed. And just like in your recovery, a seed is the most important part of what becomes the plant. So take it one step at a time. Take your time and don't space all of your seeds or all of your steps together, especially if you're in that 12-step program. Take it one step or one seed at a time and enjoy the journey. Having plants actually teaches us a lot about who we are. If we like to rush and make quick decisions, that can be a, a definite trait in addictive behavior. Um, when it comes to planting though, planting your garden or planting a flower, it takes time. Just like having seeds, when you open up your package of seeds for tomato plants, um, spinach, green beans, or even just having some nice, nice greenery in the house, it begins one step at a time. And so if you're in that 12-step program and you want to begin your journey of recovery, realize that it takes time to develop and grow in your journey as well. Having plants themselves also helps us cultivate newfound pride in ourselves. By doing something that makes us feel good about the end result, like flowers, plants, and vegetables, it begins to help us view ourselves in a more positive light as well. Plants themselves actually do reap a benefit of having higher self-esteem. So if you think about the ideas of growing a garden, planting vegetables, or even beginning a recovery journey, they all intertwine in this thing called planting, gardening, and recovery. So you can view yourself in a more positive way by just starting with one of these guys right here. At the start of our recovery, a lot of what we're doing is restructuring our life. We're looking for new ways of actually connecting with ourselves, our world, those around us. And what a better way to illustrate that than right here with a plant. So once you begin to plant, once you begin to put your roots down, that's where your recovery begins. So when we're starting our recovery journey itself, it's really important that we actually have community and we're finding our community in a healthy environment. So just like plants provide oxygen to our bodies, those around us can either take away oxygen or provide it for us. So finding a community that promotes healthy living, promotes positive choices, is a great way to do that through plants. So if your recovery center in your local community offers an opportunity for you in art or music or even in botany, we definitely recommend that you get started with that today. It's important to remember to take a breath. Even when you're starting your recovery journey, cravings can happen at any time. And we have to be in front of this instead of unaware, unexpected, or even naive to the fact. So with plants, it provides healthy oxygen. So why not provide a new environment in your home, at work, for yourself today with one of these guys? Gardening itself or taking care of plants is also super important because it helps promote our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. Uh, by just going outside, we actually have the sun, which affects our vitamin D levels while we are gardening or planting and taking care of something else. So one great reason to get started with botany or green therapy is that it increases your vitamin D levels. Taking care of plants also provides a great coping strategy for us in recovery. This means that by distracting myself with a positive outlet like taking care of plants, my hands, my mind, my emotion is poured into something positive. And that's a great coping strategy in your recovery journey as well. In our recovery journey, something that we have to also identify is boredom. Boredom can be destructive when it leads to any self-destructive behaviors. So one thing that planting or even gardening can do is that it provides an outlet for boredom. One great way to get started is with the pothos plant. This guy right here has been sitting with us this entire time. A pothos plant is a great way to get started because it's easy to maintain. It provides great ambiance for your room and also fresh oxygen. So. 
My challenge for you today is to get started by finding a plant in your lo local greenery, such as the pothos plant. And so for more videos like this one, or blogs, or even podcasts, check out the Artistic Recovery. We are at artisticrecovery.org.